If you want to find out how to quickly create a cool duotone effect like this one, you're in the right place. And that's here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. OK, let's get started. I've got an image here. It's the kind of thing we have a bit of a message on one side and then you've got a cool looking image on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in this image OK, from Adobe Stock and just drag that over to around about there. Great stuff. Then I'll double click on that to place it and immediately I'm going to go up to the select menu and come down and choose select subject so I can get rid of the background here. As soon as it's made its selection, I'm going to jump into the select and mask workspace. That's option command R, alt control R on Windows. And then with my refine edge brush, maybe take that down a bit in size just here. It's going to brush around these regions here and let it do its analysis magic. I might also just go around the shoulders there as well. There we go. Brilliant. I think that's pretty good. We can check with the opacity there. That's great. And I'm going to decontaminate the colors. OK, and then create a new layer with a layer mask or better still, just do that. <laughs> there we are. So now we have that. I can get rid of the layer underneath. Don't really need it. And now for the actual duotone effect. Now, of course, this isn't a regular duotone because a regular duotone needs you to convert something to grayscale and then switch to that particular mode. And also it involves inks and stuff. So be very, very careful if you're getting printing with a real duotone. But this works pretty well for digital. So into the adjustments and I'm going to choose gradient map just here like so and then I'm going to click on the gradient to mix my own. Now in this regard what's happening here is the orange is actually working on the shadows and the white here is the highlights so I'm going to change that out so I'm just going to double click on the white here and I think I'm going to go for something in this sort of yellow orange region something like that I think that works pretty well for the highlights and then thinking about the color wheel sort of yellow yellow orange is opposite to violet blue around about that region so i'll go to the other end and double click on that and these contrasts work really well okay when they've got something that is complementary or opposite to the original now you can go 10 or 15 or more degrees either side if you want to and you can just go for the effect that you're after. In fact, I think that works pretty well because you're also looking for contrast. And if you want to tune this, what you can do is you can go ahead and select your layer, then go back to the adjustments and choose a black and white adjustment and then you can go ahead and tune that. So there's a bit of red in here that you want to lighten up like so and yellow also that you might want to tune and down here for the magentas you might want to make those slightly darker or lighter depending every image is different. But there you go that's it it really is that simple to create that effect. We're done for now but I'll see you next time here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo. See ya.